In May 6, 2019, HBO has released a miniseries Chernobyl. This resonant movie that critically acclaimed series dramatized the events leading up to and following the accident, raising public awareness and sparking renewed discussions about the Chernobyl disaster's causes and consequences. And this dramatic and ominous event will be the subject of today's episode. Watch this video to the end, and you will learn how our world was on the brink of disappearance. What amazing and unexplained phenomena were discovered in Chernobyl and what catastrophic threats still loom over us today. So, let's get started. This news, copyright. We'll be broken up in the open field. The explosion at Chernobyl in terms of radioactive contamination equated to the impact of 350 atomic bombs detonated over Hiroshima. Regarded by many researchers as the most significant technological catastrophe in human history, the Chernobyl accident left an indelible mark on the course of nuclear energy. As the world grapples with the ongoing challenges posed by nuclear energy, Chernobyl remains a haunting reminder of the catastrophic potential inherent in the pursuit of atomic power. So let's go over some facts you probably didn't know. Immersion in the topic. Incorrectly envisioning the Chernobyl nuclear power plant as merely a few reactor blocks is a misperception. In reality, it is a vast complex covering an area of about 3 square kilometers, 0.5 square miles, and comprising 238 buildings and structures. Even today, 1,000 to 2,000 people still work at the plant, and the overall area of the nuclear facility extends to approximately 30 square kilometers, 5 square miles. Shutting down a nuclear reactor is not a swift process, which is why the Chernobyl nuclear power plant continued operations even after the accident until the early 2000s. The exclusion zone surrounding the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, unfit for agriculture and habitation, spans over 60,000 square kilometers, affecting both Ukraine and Belarus. The restricted zone around the plant covers an area of 2,600 square kilometers on the brink of a global catastrophe. In May 1986, rescuers discovered that molten lava had started to descend beneath the destroyed reactor core and was in immediate proximity to the cooling pool beneath the building. The consequences of radioactive lava infiltrating the cooling basin beneath Unit 4 at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in 1986 would have been extremely severe. If the radioactive lava, or corium, had breached this pool, it could have triggered a steam explosion, leading to a further release of radioactive materials into the environment, exacerbating the already catastrophic situation caused by the reactor explosion and meltdown. Such an explosion would have extended to the other reactor units of the nuclear power plant, exponentially amplifying the force of the explosion, turning it into a true nuclear disaster. Calculations indicated that Kyiv, with its multi-million population, would have been obliterated. Millions of square kilometers of land would have been devastated and rendered uninhabitable for millennia, and lethal radiation would have spread across a significant part of Europe. Fortunately, due to the selfless efforts of the rescuers, the water from the basin was pumped out, averting the explosion danger at that time. Victims the data on the casualties of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster vary. Russian official sources cite 200,000 people, Ukraine mentions 500,000 people, and independent sources converge around the figure of 1 million people in European and even African countries. According to the WHO report, more than 4,000 people died directly from the consequences of the accident during the immediate aftermath. Sarcophagus to halt the further spread of radiation, a decision was made to construct a protective structure around the ruins of the fourth reactor block, named the sarcophagus. Rescuers were severely constrained in both time and resources, so, unfortunately, the simplest, fastest, and cheapest option for the sarcophagus was chosen. Regrettably, it turned out to be the least durable and reliable. As early as 1986, a government commission reported on the unreliability of the sarcophagus construction, but it was too late to make any changes. According to the designer's calculations, the sarcophagus was supposed to function until a maximum of 2023, 
after which it would likely start to deteriorate. In 2013, the roof of the sarcophagus partially collapsed, exposing 15,000 tons of highly radioactive dust inside. The fate of the first sarcophagus remains unresolved to this day. The new safe confinement, NSC, completed in 2016, encloses the entire existing sarcophagus and reactor building. However, it also faces significant problems. In particular, it is believed that the two sarcophagi have placed an anomalous load on the foundation of the reactor block, inevitably leading to their destruction. Elephant's Foot During the reactor explosion, approximately 190 tons of highly radioactive nuclear fuel elements were ejected, containing radionuclides such as cesium-137, strontium-90, and plutonium-239. The nuclear fuel composition also included uranium, plutonium, americium, and neptunium. The half-life of plutonium-239 is 24,000 years, and the half-life of uranium-235 is an unimaginable million years. In other words, a significant area became uninhabitable for millions of years. However, radiation spread not only upwards, but also downwards. In May 1986, a source of extremely intense radioactive emission was discovered beneath the destroyed reactor. Attempts to measure its level only resulted in the breakdown of dosimeters designed for 3,000 rentgens per hour. A special military dosimeter was then used, revealing a radioactivity level of an astonishing 14,500 rentgens per hour. To put this into perspective, a nuclear power plant specialist receives a radiation dose equivalent to 35 rontgens throughout their entire life. Further research revealed a mysterious stalactite-like formation of lava-like nuclear fuel weighing approximately 11 tons, dubbed elephant's foot, for its peculiar shape. Being near the elephant's foot for just eight minutes guaranteed death within one, two days. Scientists believe that the radioactivity of this phenomenon will persist for at least another 100,000 years. Researchers argue that the elephant's foot continues to melt the concrete foundation and will eventually breach into groundwater. This could trigger a fatal contamination not only of the surrounding environment, but also affect many European countries. Such a scenario could lead to a new powerful explosion. The substance of the elephant's foot is called corium, considered the most dangerous substance on the planet. Experiments conducted by the Argonne National Laboratory showed that corium can burn through up to 30 centimeters of concrete per hour. Our salvation from this catastrophe is currently due to the use of graphite concrete in the Chernobyl station's foundation, significantly slowing down the burning. Unfortunately, this will not last indefinitely. Destruction of the sarcophagus. The destruction of the sarcophagus at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant would be a catastrophic event with wide-ranging consequences for Europe and the entire world. Immediate effects, release of radioactive material. The sarcophagus, despite its flaws, currently acts as a barrier containing highly radioactive materials within the damaged reactor core. Its destruction would unleash a significant amount of radioactive dust and debris into the atmosphere. Wind patterns would carry the radioactive plume across Europe and potentially beyond contaminating air, water, and soil over vast areas. This could lead to acute radiation sickness. Individuals directly exposed to high levels of radiation would face immediate health risks, including nausea, vomiting, and death. Increased exposure to radiation over time can lead to a higher risk of developing cancer, thyroid problems, and other health issues, affecting individuals and future generations. Contaminated areas would become uninhabitable for an extended period leading to the displacement of residents and significant economic losses for affected regions. Social disruption and psychological trauma are also likely consequences. Radioactive fallout would harm flora and fauna, disrupting food chains and causing widespread environmental damage. Rivers and groundwater sources will become contaminated, posing a serious threat to drinking water supplies. Another explosion. Almost no one knows that just over five years after the Chernobyl accident, another incident occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant that could have led to a global catastrophe. On October 11, 1991, a fire broke out at Unit 2 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which was operating at 70% power at the time, 
the fire resulted in the complete loss of the main feed water and auxiliary feed water systems. The explosion and fire totally destroyed the unit's generator, leading to the permanent shutdown of the unit. The 1991 fire at Unit 2 added to the complex's troubled history and the ongoing concerns surrounding nuclear safety and the long-term impact of the Chernobyl disaster. What's next? Sensors installed inside the sarcophagi have shown a doubling in the rate of nuclear fission over the last five years. It should be noted that 80% of the nuclear fuel still remains inside the destroyed reactor, and the chain reaction process is still ongoing. Since the accident until today, only about 60% of the area of the destroyed reactor has been investigated, and no one can say what other unpleasant and shocking surprises await us in the remaining 170 rooms of the nuclear power plant, which are inaccessible due to insane radiation levels. Moreover, in recent years, there has been a rapid increase in radiation levels in the surrounding areas. The reason lies in the fact that the plutonium-241 released as a result of the explosion has started transforming into americium-241, a significantly more dangerous radioactive material with extremely aggressive alpha radiation. The chilling specter of the Chernobyl accident looms as a grim reminder of the perils that unfold when man's mastery of science goes awry. Three decades after the explosion of reactor number four, the ghostly remnants of Pripyat and the ominous sarcophagus encasing the lethal ruins stand as testament to the enduring and pervasive risks of nuclear catastrophe. Today, as the radioactive specter continues to cast its long shadow, Chernobyl remains a haunting paradox, a silent testament to the irrevocable consequences of human misjudgment and the enduring unseen menace that persists in the heart of this desolate zone. That's all the facts for today. We'll get back to you in a couple days with a new dizzying investigation. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to always be aware of the most mysterious and amazing events of civilization.